Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are welcoming six new subscribers. Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends, tell your family, tell your cousins. Yes, but yes guys, uh, thanks to those new uh, six subscribers, we are at 310, yes sir. So yeah, and thank you very much to all of you for sticking here with me. I do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very much for all that support. You guys are showing some love out there. I appreciate every single one of you. You already know that. Uh, but yes guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on. Hey guys, quick update here on Ratchet. We're gonna go ahead and go from that to this. See how it looks? Give you guys a little preview of what it looks like right now. There you go, look at that. Yes sir. Now, let's swap up the wheels. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Yes, this one's smaller. It's a 20. These are 22s. But that's not the only thing. This ones are 14 inch wide and this ones are 12, I think 12 inch. Yeah, so we're literally going two more inches up high and wide. Look at that. Sheesh. All right, get them on, see what they look like. Oh, that was a struggle, but here we are. Look at those. Sheesh. I think it looks better with this one's on. I still got the lids to put on. But yeah. And there is a big difference on the lift too. It went up three inches. It does something. Now we do have a little issues with clearance on this ones. Uh, we do hit right here. Not a full lock, but almost there. Up front, it hits this. So we're probably gonna have to shave that a little more. Nothing we can't handle. We're gonna change it for the Gonna do some stuff on the front anyway, so let's go ahead and start. See if we're gonna cut it or what we're gonna do, I don't know yet, but man, it looks nice though. All right, guys, our mechanic has called us and told us that it is time for a truck to get its ABS system fixed. So we're gonna go ahead and take it to Luis and he's gonna fix our ABS system and we'll see if the lights go off. Vamonos. All right, guys, so we're here to pick up the truck. Yay, yay. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Where's the key entry thing? Sorry, guys. Let me see here. Let's see if the ABS lights come on. Should have been right there. There's nothing there. What? Okay, I guess we fixed the issue. Well... Luis did. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take it home and see how it does. guys we sold it uh daytime it is now daytime nighttime <laughs> yeah it is so late tonight it's almost to be 12 a.m we came to pick it up over here at a quick trip we're in the back right now loading it we just put it in the trailer uh it looks like it doesn't want to go it started overheating on the new owner i'm pretty sure it's the thermostat so we offered to come pick it up for him and we're gonna go ahead and deliver it to his house that way he can give it some love and uh, still see that it needing. Um, I did told him, I was clear with them that I have not driven this car for more than a um, couple miles around town. Uh, nothing ever happened to me there. I never heat up or anything. Uh, he went and wanted to drive it on the freeway. He took it 70 miles, 75 miles an hour. Yes, sir, on an old 88 uh, without having to do no tune up, no nothing on it. And it's been sitting there for a couple months now since the last video we did on it and that's how long it's been sitting there uh we popped the battery on there it fired right up and it drove like a champ for a little while but um yeah i was telling him it's best for us to come pick it up because uh if he drives it like that most likely he'll damage something on the engine or something will happen and then um yeah we don't want that 
So we offered to deliver it for him. That way we can go ahead and uh, be good with them and uh, you know, just have him do the right thing and fix it the right way. That way he can have a car for plenty more years. guys so we went ahead and made it over here to uh, Missouri over here by Kansas City there's the truck it made it just fine we did have a couple of difficulties here I'll show you guys later um, we did stop by over here there's the trailer emptied out there's our Fiero well ex Fiero now we went ahead and dropped it off at his new home it was throwing a fit they didn't want to stay they didn't want to come to his new home but we had to drag him out here um, there's the new owner if you don't mind <laughs> uh, he is aware that it's overheating at the moment yeah. he knows he's gonna need a thermostat he's cool with it uh, he has homies that have knowledge on these cars he specifically loves this kind of car so just trying to let him know <laughs> but yeah um, tell him your name real quick uh, Kale. Kale, Kale where are you from um, is, where am I from I guess you could say Arizona Arizona? Yeah. Where are you staying at right now? Right now I'm in Blue Spring, Missouri. Blue Spring, Missouri? There you go, guys. Ain't no joke. We're out here doing some stuff, changing things. Man. Righty, guys. So we went ahead and stopped down here at Golden Corral. Uh, they took him away from Wichita. I don't know why, but um, we're trying him out here. I'll give him around a three star. You know, they were okay. They were not good. They were not bad. Uh, let me show you guys what I was talking about. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see. I don't think you guys can see it, honestly. Well, there's oil on the paint. You see those little specks? That's oil. So I was like wondering where that oil was coming from. Of course, it was coming from my truck, that's for sure. I don't know if you guys can see this whole side right there. Has some oil as well. Let me unlock this real quick. So I was wondering where it was coming from and everything. And it turns out, let me show you guys real quick. Turns out I got a lot of oil over here. It was draining right there, all the way, over the way to the back. So it coated my tank, my gas tank, it coated my back wheel, my differential right there got coated of it too. So I was like, wow, that's a lot of oil. Where's it coming from? So I follow it, follow it, and I could not find it. I thought it was my transfer case right here. That was leaking oil from those uh little caps there but then i looked at it and i was like that's a lot of oil drip in there i wonder what it's for and it turned out to be the drain plug i plugged it but it was the drain for the transmission yeah this has a drain this old trucks have a drain so guess what i used to plug that in because i didn't have like the, the gas station didn't have anything or anything so i'd use the zip tied and let me show you what i used your boy went ahead Instead of a plug, I got one of these beef thing sticks. Yeah, it's pretty delicious though. This was left of it. I did not stick the whole stick in there. It was just a little part of it, like about yay much right there. And then I sticked it in there with everything on it and zip tied it and it plugged it. It did, it did the job. It doesn't seem to be leaking anymore. It doesn't throw any more fluid. It's supposed to throw like over, like I, I believe like thin fluid or like what's like over full fluid i'm not sure really 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 sure about how it works or why it's there for but the new trucks i know they still have them but they have them up in the engine bay and they have a plug on them so not sure what's going on with that so i went ahead and made a plug out of a beef jerky over here and uh, it did the job so if you're in a hurry in the middle of nowhere and um all you have is a beef jerky stick there you go stick that thing in there and it'll stop dripping and messing your whole trailer and car and everything that you have back here because it went everywhere 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 and then the Fiero um, it was really packed of oil as well the whole Fiero was full of it but yeah 
I'm glad we got that fixed up. So right now we're just gonna make a quick stop at Walmart and get some gear oil, uh, top it off again with the transmission because I know we lose some, we gotta add some, right? And uh, yeah, every, other than that, it ships fine. Everything's working just good. Um, and traffic here is crazy, guys. If you ever come to Missouri, whoo, watch out. Traffic is no joke out here. It is a mess. Let's get on, vamonos. Bam, just like that. Look at this. And then, I don't think I show you under here, but yeah, well that is oil. But we're here at Walmart already. We're gonna go inside and grab ourselves some gear oil. Come back, tap that transmission out, and head to Kansas. Well, Wichita, Kansas. Right now we're on Missouri, and then Kansas is like right away. Is this thing not locking? There you go. Now I gotta get really close. Vamonos. All right, guys, so we're back here and we have our transmission oil here for our fluid AF, ATF number one. We're gonna, uh, we already tapped it out, as you guys can see. Uh, we did went and bought some other stuff as well because we needed a funnel and some accessories here. And that's not all. We went ahead and got a proper plug just in case we need it. <laughs> And we got some of this thing right here. Uh, it's oil stop leak or whatever. Uh, it's supposed to stabilize your oil as well. Uh, you, If you're familiar with Lucas, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, we went ahead and did all that. We should be good to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start heading out back to Wichita. Wish me luck. So it is the next day. It looks like we had a storm last night. There's the trailer. We already put it outside there. We're gonna keep it there and here's our truck. Yes, sir. We made it back. Uh, no more leaks at all. Uh, nothing leaked anymore. Uh, that's good news. Our beef jerky did the job. We hadn't even had to take the beef jerky out or anything. So yeah. Oh yeah. And our new wheels are pretty much pretty good there uh, they drive so smooth they're not as loud as the other ones were uh, you can actually hear those and the ride is really soft so uh, truck lift did a really good job with our lift there pretty good the first time I actually take it on a long drive it was uh, three hours and 30 minutes away and we had a load on it with the trailer as you guys can see um, yes we have a couple of uh, other projects around here that I will get to eventually uh, but yes guys, uh, I just took a shower, so excuse me, don't mind me, but um, yeah, we have sold the Fiero, uh, it pretty much was sold for a little while, the guy wired us the money and everything, we were just waiting for him to get back from vacation, um, he did, I thought he was a bull, you know, me, because it was everything online, first time I did anything like that, and then yeah, he sent some money over for us to hold it for him. Uh, and then we went ahead and waited for him a little bit longer than we supposed to but at the end it worked out he paid cash money on the rest of the uh, the amount there and we were able to get the car sold uh, he drove it 30 miles away and then stopped at a restaurant to eat some food and the car started overheating uh, he did send me a picture of it as well I'll put it in here on the link real quick for you guys but yeah and then um, after that I offered to just pick up the car my trailer and take it to his new place his new home because I didn't want him damaging the engine or you know uh, feeling bad because he's just bought the car and he can't drive it a long distance I did warn him before uh, buying the car or you know taking it in a drive that it was an older car to bring some tools things like that and I have really moved the car or messed with it in general uh, pretty much all we did was make sure everything was good on it we checked the fluids and everything uh, we didn't we, I don't think we checked the oil 
Uh, we checked all the other stuff there. I don't even think we checked the coolant, to be honest with y'all. Uh, but yeah, it looks like at the end it worked out. We were able to deliver the car to him on Missouri. Um, so we had to go to Kansas City and then from there to Missouri, which it was like probably 30 minutes from, uh, from Kansas City where his house was. And yeah, now we're back in Wichita. But yeah, we made it all right. We made it good. Everything worked out fine. I am thankful and grateful for everything. And I got to see new places. And I got to try some Golden Corral, man. It's been a while since I've been there. But yeah, I definitely enjoy our time. A little field trip out there. And it was a nice little adventure with Ratchet. Yeah. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for following, sharing, subscribing, and watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.